Let's come up with all the ways that we could arrange an octet of electrons around an atom. We'll use this table of octet configurations to help us organize the process. We'll categorize things based on the number of non-bonding electron pairs from 0 to 4, and the number of electron pair domains. A just represents some generic atom, and so in the first row, we're going to write out all of the ways of making an octet around the atom A, but we won't use any non-bonding pairs of electrons. So with four electron pair domains, the way we get to an octet is with four single bond domains. If we have three domains, then the way that we're going to get to an octet is with one double bond domain that has four electrons, and then two single bond domains with two electrons each. There are two ways that we can have two electron pair domains and produce an octet of electrons. One would be with a triple bond domain and a single bond domain, and the other would be with two double bond domains. I'll let you do the next row on your own. The third row I'll do for you, it involves two non-bonding pairs of electrons, and so if we have four electron pair domains, two of them must be non-bonding pairs of electrons. We still have two more electron pair domains, and so to get to an octet, we would add two single bonds. Over here, we've got three electron pair domains, two of which must be, double, must, must be lone pairs, and so the way we get to an octet is to add a double bond domain. Over here, what we're going to try to do is to get to an octet, we're constrained in this row to use two non-bonding pairs of electrons, and that's the total number of electron pairs that we can have according to this column. And so you can see that we're not at an octet. This is not possible in the table of octet configurations. If we keep going, I'll do the next row for you, and what we can see there is we have three non-bonding pairs of electrons, and the way we get to an octet is with a single bond. Once again, if we were to try to get to an octet, constrained to put three non-bonding pairs of electrons in, you can see that what we would have is we're out of electron pair domains, and we still don't have an octet. That's the same situation we had before. That's not possible to be in the table of octet configurations, and neither is this, neither is that, neither is that, and our last, the last entry in the table, we would put four non-bonding pairs of electrons around that atom A to get an octet of electrons. Why don't you stop the video right here and draw the table of octet configurations for yourself. You're going to find that there are 11 ways, no more, no less, that we can arrange for an octet of electrons around an atom. When you turn the video back on, I'll have the table up for you so you can check your answers. These are going to be the building blocks. These 11 ways are going to be the building blocks of the electron configurations that we'll use throughout the semester as we draw organic structures.